channel, it's Lily and I'm here to film a collective haul. Let's get started. The first item I want to share is something from Target. Now, if you have been watching me on my uh, the vlog, the vlogs that I've been filming, um, you guys know that I did a major master walk-in closet overhaul thing and I spent a lot of time at Target gathering items to use to organize my closet and um, those are like one of my most recent videos. So anyways, every time I go to Target, I always go by the makeup section. It's like, it has like this magical power that I cannot resist. It's like, come see what we have, Lily. We have so many new things for you to try. So I, I caved in um, to the mysterious Wizard of Oz sounding voice. Anyways, so the first item that I picked up was um, this matte palette from Sonia Kashuk. And, um... I will just go ahead and say as a disclaimer, a lot of these things were influenced by Judy, who is from It's so Judy. I wanted to try them out because she, I hate playing this card, but she's Filipino and we have like the same skin coloring and I feel like she's a really good reference point to what would look good on me. So I have been very satisfied with everything that she has been using thus far. So um, this is what it looks like. Um, I have some very strong opinions about it, so I will be doing a review on it. But it's just 12 matte shades, all very neutral, kind of like Naked Palette, but gone matte. So that was one thing. The other is um, a gel liner from L'Oreal, and I had completely used up my Bobbi Brown Caviar Ink, and I decided that I wanted to get another gel liner, but not high-end. So I decided to go with the L'Oreal version, because I've been hearing really good things about it. The next um, is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lipstick. Oh, I had originally purchased the Cherish shade, which is a really dark burgundy red, which I don't have with me right now. Um, and I really liked it, and I really wanted to love it. Um, but when I had to reapply it throughout the day, I ended up getting like that ring around my lip with like nothing in between, like here and the inside, and it was completely disgusting, totally not flattering. So I was thinking, let me try a different shade that's something a little bit more light. So I swooped up this one in the shade Honey, and on me it's, in the tube it looks like this very mauve pink, but on me and on my lips when I reapply it, it looks more of like a Barbie pink, which is totally cute and totally wearable and work appropriate. I've been rocking a pink look pretty much for the last two weeks. I really, really like this one, so I'm really happy that I've given a different shade a shot since... Um, a lot of people have been loving these, and I really wanted to love it, but I just had to find the right shade, so there you go. The next is another influence by um, Judy, and it's the L'Oreal Color Riche uh, Lipstick in the shade Sheer Linen, number 181. And it reminds me of those Benefit lipsticks. The formula is very similar to theirs, so it's like this nice nude shade. Um, it's nothing too obnoxious. It's perfect for a smoky eye companion. So it's not it doesn't give you like that death becomes her lip shade. It's very like oh you still have a pulse kind of. The next is another lipstick and it's by Revlon and I've been kind of in the mood for fall. Like I'm ready for the the weather to be cooler. I'm ready for me not sweating my ass off every single time I go outside and I'm ready just to enjoy nature but I hate summer because it's disgusting here so I have been trying to lure the cooler weather by wearing dark lips <laughs> like today so um, at, I'm on my hunt for like the perfect red so <clears throat> I bear with me as I show you a couple of them um, I picked up this Revlon lipstick in the um, it's a cream formula in the shade Certainly Red, which is 740, and it's a red that I normally would not air to because it's more of that true red, shade true red, and um, it's really pretty actually. So in the tube, that's what it looked like, and swatched on my hand, it looks like this. It's definitely a red red but it does have the ever so slightest orangey undertone which is fine with me because on my lips they look fine so I'm really happy with it um, and I I know that like MAC makes Ruby Woo and Russian Red and those are fabulous but they're both matte shades. I know that matte lipsticks are a little bit more true to the vintage, vintage style but 
I just don't like the way that they wear them. I was really happy to find a cream um, formula of a red lipstick because it gives a little bit of gloss so you don't need to put on a lip gloss on top but it makes it feel a little bit more comfortable while you're wearing it throughout the day. Next is another drugstore item and it's the All May Get Up and Grow Mascara in the Waterproof Formula. Now I had purchased this because of Emily Noel 83. May has been like one of those brands where like my mom used to buy it for me because it was hypoallergenic and you know dermatologist tested or whatever I don't know so it kind of reminds me of like recitals and stuff like that random right okay the next drugstore item is a dry shampoo and it is the suave version and this is what the zip packaging looks like it has a very nice citrusy smell which is really fantastic and I've been really enjoying this and it's only three dollars three dollars at the grocery store and items I had gone to Mac and to Sephora because um, I wanted to try the Kat Von D primer, um, but the Sephora I went to didn't have the Kat Von D line. So I ended up buying a true and tried favorite, which was the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. The other item I'm really excited to show you, I'm wearing it right now, and it's a lipstick because, of course, I was on my, like, ooh, finding the perfect red kind of thing. And I love my Bessame lipsticks, but they're a little old, so I had to chuck them. And so I got this color, and it's a little bit more blue-toned, and it's in the shade Moulin Rouge by Makeup Forever and so this is what the packaging looks like. It's very similar to like the MAC Viva Glam packaging. It's definitely a more blue toned red than the Certainly Red from Revlon. I think it's a little bit more wearable than the Revlon version just because I think it's a little bit more universal and blue toned lipsticks tend to make your teeth look a little bit whiter so then I went to Mac because it was right down the way like literally the same shopping plaza like Sephora was here and Mac was here so I had to go um, I had to get some brush cleaner because I am dangerously short on the supply that I have right now so I needed to get some more and then I decided to get another eyeshadow because I need more eyeshadow and the shade that I picked up was texture which is a velvet formula oops sorry Ooh. And um, it's just this really pretty, like, camel-colored brown. It's more like a bronzy brown, actually, and it's just really gorgeous in the crease. So then I went to Ulta because um, I wanted to... I got one of those coupons in the mail. They had, like, a little insert for a new fragrance from Marc Jacobs. And typically those things don't really, like, appeal to me, or I just don't feel like I really need another set of perfume in my life, but... This one was really good and I thought it would be a great transitional fragrance from the summer to the fall. So since I'm working very hard to get fall here a little bit quicker than it's going to take, um, I decided to buy it and it's the Marc Jacobs Fragrance and Dot. And this is what it looks like. This is the packaging. Super cute. It kind of reminds me of like the daisies. Very reminiscent of the daisies. A little much in terms of packaging but it's super cute so there's a saving grace. Um, the scent is really, really nice. I always feel like I'm going to break off one of these petals every time I, like, open it. But it has a very sweet scent, but there's a slight muskiness to it, which I really like because that's totally fall fragrance smelling to me. So I got that in the 1.7 fluid ounce. Most of my purchases from Ulta were kind of mundane. I'm not going to go through them too much. I got another top coat, the Sally Hansen Mega Shine, my favorite. And if you have a recommendation on a really good one, let me know, except for Sachet V. I don't care for the very thick formula kind of deals. Um, I got more facial wax because mama don't like a mustache. Um, and I don't know, guys, if you guys remember that Sonic commercial where there's a husband and wife in the car, and I think it's when they were selling their milkshakes, and the lady takes a drink of hers, and she's got, like, that milk mustache going on, and she's like, Mustache. And the guy's like, I don't care the color of your mustache, it's the fact that you have one. And she gives him like the dirtiest look. It's so funny. So I need to get rid of mine once in a while. And then, but the most exciting thing that I bought there was some nail polishes because I got a pedicure the other day and I forgot how much I love dark nail polishes and how it's just so classy and so fabulous and vampy and I love that. So it's on my toes right now, and it's a shade that I've loved for a really long time, and I use it all up, and it's OPI's Russian Navy, and I absolutely love like it. It looks black, but you, you are forced to give a second look because there's so much dimension to this nail polish. It's just absolutely gorgeous. 
And then a new shade that I picked up was another OPI shade, and it's from their Germany con collection, and it's in 999 OK Fine. And it's like this close to darker gray shade and I have nothing in my collection like this. And then I got two other nail polishes in brands that I've never used before. So the first is this one from Zoya and it's in the shade Edita which I'm wearing on my nails right now. I had them painted on Friday and then when I bought this on Saturday I had to repaint my nails in the shade because I was so excited about it. And it's this like black based um, or grayish based nail polish where it has like the coolest micro glitter. Oh and Zoya is a vegan brand so if you if there are any vegans watching my channel this is very very vegan friendly and they also sell this at Whole Foods so check it out there. And then I got this from Orly and it's in the shade um frick. Watch it glitter. Watch out girl. So yeah I got this and it just reminded me of um fall leaves. This is what I picture in my head whenever I see like leaves on the ground. Just like the color and the way that they sparkle, it just reminded me of it and I had to get it. I'm not one for chunky glitter, but I'm willing to give chunky glitter a try. And then the last thing I want to talk about is something for my hair and I know that I have like this metal rock band from the 90s kind of white snake kind of thing going on, but I kind of like it. It's kind of big and kind of ri ridiculous. And the tool that I used to achieve this crazy look is this, and it's from Bedhead. It's the um, Dual Waver. It's a crazy hybrid of a curling iron and a crimper. Now, I remember, I think I still have my crimper from like back in the 80s, and it was white with like pastel pink and green designs on it. I don't know. Crimping was so cool back in the day. I had like the really small one, so it was like super frizzy kind of look. It was awesome. So when I bought this, I was like, oh my god, it's like a crimper. Like, I'm eight years old again. <laughs> so funny. So anyways, I got this because um, I wanted to try something like this. And with long hair, I kind of wanted to achieve this kind of like texture. And my hair kind of, the top layer of my hair naturally kind of does this kind of look. So I was thinking, okay, well, this would be great to do for the rest of my head. But anyways, it's a dual waver because this little um, rod in the middle is adjustable. So if you have it like this, um, it gives you a more tight wave. But if you unlock the barrel, it has another dial here, um, you can twist it like so. And then it stands out a little bit more so it gives you a bigger weight. I plan on doing a review on this and if you're interested, leave a comment down below and I will go ahead and do a demo and a review combo for this product is my collective haul thank you for staying in there with me i know it's a lot of stuff um and i promise to do more hauls in the future so until next time i will see you in the next video oh and if you want me to do any kind of reviews or um anything like that with any of the products below just let me know and i will see you later take care everyone